Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about a requirement where memory is allocated dynamically and it is done through heap allocation strategy. The next allocation strategy is the heap allocation and uh, I already told you that heap allocation is uh, used for uh, for for dynamic allocation of the memory okay so for dynamic allocation of memory okay so if it is the criteria that dynamic allocation of the memory then we'll use a heap so let me read out uh, that stack, alloca stack allocation strategy discussed above cannot be used uh, in either of the following is possible that the value of the local names must be retained when an activation ends. Okay, so activation when ends, uh, the value of the local names, if you have a local variable, local names must be retained. So that is not possible with uh, because that is area is deallocated so i can use or uh, take advantage to declare integer as uh, or uh, and star i can take int star p and i can say malloc uh, and i can give you here a size of this variable as int and i, I can declare this uh, p can hold the value okay Another case can be a called activation outlives uh, the caller. Okay, so means it's uh, uh, outlives the caller. Uh, this possibility cannot occur for those language where activation trees depicts the control flow. So if the control flow is uh, what it is trying to say here, there is a possibility that uh, if main main is calling F1, so main terminates, but F1 uh, main terminates. But uh, activation of F1 is still there. Okay, so activation of F1 is still present. Now, this is not possible in, in at least in C language, we never seen such situation like this. Because uh, the only reason is that uh, uh, activation tree depicts the flow of control. Okay, so if the flow of control in that way, so definitely this idea is uh, maybe somewhere it is implemented but not in C language okay so this is possible that uh, that the called activation is outlives the caller that main is terminated but f1 function is still there and right now so I can never think of any language which is uh, used uh, this particular strategy okay so but uh, it is possible that uh, that activation uh, that that called activation is outlives the value of the caller now heap allocation parcel out a piece of contiguous storage okay parcel out that okay the, not a very good term but it uh, take the that the allocation should be contiguous that is one requirement allocation is contiguous allocation so that is not mandatory when we talk about uh, the heap allocation okay so it may not be contiguous as needed by the activation records and other object huh? contiguous block of storage Piece may be deallocated in any order. So the over the time, the heap will consist of alternate areas huh, of free and the use space. So there may be possible that this is the memory area in case of heap and uh, this is used. Okay, and suppose this is free. And then again, we have uh, two pieces which is used. And then we have uh, some location of free. So that may be possible. So contiguous is not, uh, contiguous is, uh, is not possible in case of when we have when we talk about this heap allocation uh, in each of the above cases allocation and allocation and deallocation of the activation record need not occur in the last uh, last in and uh, last in first out manner uh, so the storage cannot be organized as a stack so we don't have a requirement of uh, in this case that it should be last in and first out that requirement is not there last in first out so it's not mandatory that uh, we have to allocate this in the stack okay so different uh, reasons uh, why we learned uh, about the static allocation okay and uh, static allocation 
and then we talk about stack allocation that what runtime support and then finally we see the heap allocation and heap allocation is a uh, that value retained you can say that we can do by you know static allocation also but uh, here uh, another is activation and uh, contiguous block of the storage okay that is that is one of the requirement that uh, one more the places where dynamic allocation of the memory is used is when we don't know how much space to be allocated or something how much space required Okay, so I don't know that suppose it runtime it changes so we can change that particular value so runtime support okay. so that's all for this uh, allocation strategies uh, and uh, we have done with stack static and heap allocation okay so thank you